Well, construction has caused traffic backup during peak times in downtown Billings. Taking a live look right now from our ICAM, the city and the Department of Transportation have been working on projects at the same time. Q2's David J joins us now live from 27th Street with more. David? Well, Russ, uh, we're out here actually out on 4th Avenue North is where we uh, set up. Uh, approaching 27th Street, uh, the traffic actually had uh, gotten better for a little bit. Also here in an ambulance uh, trying to get through. So that's uh, one of the concerns out here as uh, traffic gets jammed up as well. But they're working on the project on 27th from Interstate 90 all the way up to the roundabout. And the crews are out there removing pavement and during the day and then putting in the new asphalt at night. It's part of two projects that involve repaving and putting down ADA compliant pedestrian cutouts in the intersections. We're told other parts of the delay involve city work on water mains, but uh, we just talked with the city engineering department and right now the only work that they have going on right now is out at the uh, Rimrock Road, so that'll be finished up soon, they say. But nonetheless, a lane is closed in each direction on parts of 27th Street. For better or for worse, we've probably got about two weeks left of work, and depending on the weather, will depend on how quickly we can get that done. And travelers really should expect that there will be sections all along 27th where there's one lane, pretty substantial sections. What we're hearing is if you're right on 27th and you're not taking any of the side streets, you're probably 10 or 15 minute delays. Um, if you're going to try and take a side street and you run into some of the city projects, you could have much more substantial delays. And traffic may get better in this area. Becky Bay says that some of the uh, work is going to go now shift down to south of the railroad track, so they'll be finished up soon in the next two or three days between Pauley and the railroad tracks. That's the latest from out here. Russ, we'll send it back to you. All right, thanks a lot, David Jay, reporting live tonight. The $13.6 million project started in September of 2019 and may be finished in a couple of more weeks, depending, of course, on the weather.